and grow YouTube show. I took a science of seed dormancy class in my garden society. And something really interesting that you learn is, you know, seeds need very particular conditions in order to germinate and they can lie dormant for years until the conditions are correct in order for them to germinate, whether it's, and it, it's mostly weather related. There are seeds that will not germinate until they are burned, consumed by fire. And it's like, you had that, you started, you had that seed start in 2017, creating the handle and you, that seed needed that thought that, that intuitive hit that you got needed to like lie dormant for a few years. So you could move through the mud and bloom. Um, oh my God. I love the analogy of a seed. I was, I'm reading this book right now and they use a seed analogy and I'm like, oh yes, I was just reading something where they use a similar, <laughs> a similar book? seed analogy. So of course it has no cover because I run around without the cover. So the book is called Being in Love by Osho. This is, I'm showing <gasps> you, obviously. Osho. Yeah, obviously, love Osho. Like, this is a podcast and y'all can't see it, but Maria can see yes. it. Yes. Um, so yeah, so very early on in it, and he's talking about, um, you know, children and how we grow and how like exactly how a seed is, where there's this protective shell that's necessary for a period of yeah. time. Yeah. But if that, if that external piece of that shell does not shed itself away eventually, then it stunts the growth. You can never actually have the plant. You'll never have proper growth. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it, ha it serves a purpose. Like, 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 so, like, so for example, think of like, um, like an avocado seed. I feel like a lot of folks are familiar with those. Everybody wants to grow an avocado plant. Mm -hmm. When you break, a, or even a mango, ma oh, a mango seed is even better. Mm -hmm. When you eat down a mango, it's like, oh, this is a seed. Yeah, but the part that you actually plant, you have to take off that outer part yep. and plant the piece that's inside. So that protective shell serves a purpose, like a sunflower seed, it serves a purpose, but it needs to kind of like, you know, deteriorate into the ground around it in order for the actual seed inside to grow and to bloom. And so it was one of those things where you were talking about like the ego, right? Like we all have ego, which is necessary as a baby. But then as you come into your adulthood, you don't really need that anymore. You need to shed it because it's going to actually stunt your growth. So it's, there's so many metaphors. I am the queen of planting metaphors. I, I love any, everything in life can be it's like a aligned with a plant metaphor, everything. <laughs> well, because we are plant, like we're not plants, but we are nature, right? Like there's a reason yeah. why it's so intuitive and effortless to connect with these beings and learn from them. If you open your, if you prime your heart to be open to it, because we are intrinsically connected. We are both living, breathing things that have cells and DNA. And, you know, it's interesting as I was doing research for my book, I was looking at, you know, the most famous quotes about, you know, nature and wellness and plants. And um, so many of the most famous mindfulness, wellness teachers, like the old ones, like Osho, like um, Thich Nhat Hanh, like, you know, Buddha, like they all talk about plants because we used to be con way more connected to them and we've gotten more and more disconnected. And it's so funny, you and I have gone through such a similar experience of not having plants, finding plants, and then having that like light bulb moment, that corner of your heart that was dormant, like being set off, you know, uh, like a rainbow and con reconnecting with that kind of lost part of yourself. And the funny part is it's like, when I went th through that experience, I thought my experience was unique. You go through your experience. And now, like, as I've shared, it's like, this is so common. Like this awakening is so accessible and easy and, and natural and more pe everybody needs to have it, you know, which yes. is what makes us crazy being like, you got to do it. You got it. It's okay. You're not a plant killer. I swear. Let me help you. You know, it's like, it's okay. That, here's another one. Here's another one. Just you're fine. Here's yeah. another photo. <laughs>